What is going on guys? Welcome to Day of Horrors. This is the month of Halloween. We're talking about horror films and you know besides the fact that I have the Halloween um, reviews coming out for the next couple weeks because of Halloween uh, coming out uh, in a couple weeks. Um, besides that I wanted to do more reviews because last year I did a few reviews that were like one minute uh, reviews of film. And they were interesting in a way that I'm doing that. And I also want to say I did delete my Shining review and I'm going to be revisiting that film. I felt like a one minute review is not good enough to explain how much I love The Shining. So we're going to do that. That being said, we're going to talk about a movie I just recently watched twice and that is Night of the Living Dead directed by the late George A. Romero. This is pretty much, you know, when 1932's White Zombie came out, that was kind of like the first, I would say one of the first zombie films, but I don't think a movie like culturally impacted the zombie genre like Night of the Living Dead, which came out 40 years ago. And it's hard to believe that. The film is interesting. I watched it in black and white and I watched it in color. I had to watch it twice because I felt like I, I didn't understand why there was a color version, a black and white version. And um, it's, it's interesting for me because I'll say this, the performances in the movie, some are very good, some are very not. The story itself is pretty interesting. It took a lot, uh, a lot of inspirations. I've taken that from the show, like The Walking Dead, for instance. And they, you know, they do that in a certain amount of text. And they do that very, very well. But I think for me, the biggest thing I say about this film is the way it's directed. George A. Romero directs this movie really, really well. I love George A. Romero. I'm a huge fan of George A. Romero. I think that based on the directing scale, he has kind of this way of how he directs a film. That's so interesting and so, uh, you know, different. And I like that about George A. Romero because you had Wes Craven. And then you had um, Wes Craven with his kind of, you know, slashers, and then you had John Carpenter, and then you had George A. Romero, who was mostly the zombie guy. And, you know, he's so good at doing that. He's so good at directing that kind of a film. Um, also, I can say this, and I quote, and I will say this, I, I think some of the performances work out. The, you know, one of the most iconic lines, they're coming to get you, Barbara. That guy was good. Um, the, the whole like trapped in isolation with different people. I love that. That might've been my favorite part of the film. I loved how they brought that as a first timer and that the way that they brought that, there are some shots that do feel dated, especially knowing the fact that it's 1968 and the performances aren't as great as I would say. Um, you know, like the, uh, the main lady, she gets annoying at times, but some of them are great. Like this, um, like casting this, you know, African American who is playing this role and a lot of people were, were really not happy. This movie was very cult classic and I love it for a lot of reasons. Um, there are some problems obviously and I wanna talk about the black and white to color transition. Uh, for me, the biggest thing about this is I watched both. Um, I didn't know what anybody else thought of the color but I felt like the color was just not for me. The black and white is, and I'm not grading the film on this, the black and white is the best way to watch this film. It brings it more horror, it brings it more suspenseful in my opinion, and I love it for that. I'm gonna give Night of the Living Dead a four out of five. I think that it is a terrific film, an incredible debut film as well, and kind of brings a lot to say about the zombie films and brought kind of like the whole what we're into now with Walking Dead and things like that. Um, out of all of them, I'd probably say my favorite might be Dawn of the Dead, I think Dawn of the Dead is my favorite of the horror films, so I will say that. Guys, I hope you guys also enjoyed my skit. I am not a virgin. I just want to clear that up. No. <laughs> no, I just wanted to say um, that I am doing a little Halloween you know, thing coming up at the end of the month. I'm very excited to talk about a ton of horror films and give my skits. Uh, with some of my friends too. So I hope you guys are really excited for that. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, and we will see you guys. Make sure you guys stay tuned for my review of The Revenge of Michael Myers. That will be up on Monday. Thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you guys next time.